706 El Granado Boulevard it, in the uh, top uh, floor apartment. Um, the first door is the, to the stairwell. It's an emergency exit for the top floor apartment. Uh, on the right is the door to the top floor bedroom. And on the left is the door to the shower room and the sink vanity and toilet room. And then on the left is the laundry, which has a Whirlpool 27 inch wide um, uh, unitized uh, washer and gas dryer. And uh, in the corner, there's presently a small cabinet for the laundry soap and things, but that's going to be replaced by several um, white shelves about 16 inches by 16 inches. And then um, the, uh, the laundry area will be closed off with three sliding uh, shoji style doors. Uh, we needed to do three doors instead of two because when you open the dryer with two doors, the dryer could only open not quite all the way, such as seen in the video. Uh, by having the triple door, the three doors will stack on the right side of the opening, thereby allowing the dryer door to completely open. So, um, the uh, emergency door leads to a stairwell, and, uh, and there will be uh, exit signs directing the uh, tenant as the route down the stairs, which as it loops around, continuing spiraling to the right, goes out the front door. And there is a, um, a door alarm on that emergency exit door, such that, uh, and there will be signs posted saying, alarm will sound, only open the door in an emergency. Uh, since we, uh, we then when you uh, go through the door to the vanity room, um, you have a, a single sink uh, vessel style uh, sink with uh, uh, tile and then there will be a pair of sliding doors below with some shelves uh, for under the sink storage and it'll be a pair of shoji style sliding doors. Also the um, existing there will be uh, two shoji lights on each one on each side of the vanity illumination. Those have yet to be constructed so um, we have lighting there for for temporary. Um, just to the left of the vanity is a dumbwaiter that's a, a manual rope powered elevator where you can take things up and down to the garage floor below. Um, and then the bathroom toilet room has a, its own door and uh, when you continue in uh, the only thing in that room is, is the toilet um, this toilet is going to be replaced with a, with a new Kohler toilet and um, it's also going to have a, an aftermarket bidet for so people won't have to use so much toilet paper given today's condition in the world. Um, and also we encourage them to use the uh, uh, waste basket for toilet tissue or anything like that as the plumbing is old and clogs easily. So we do that routinely to avoid having to call for a plumber to um, come on clog the pipes. And then um, leaving the, uh, the vanity and toilet room, you go through the entry door just to the right of the laundry, uh, which is for the walk-in shower. So when that door opens, um, there's a tiled uh, seat in the left corner for taking off or putting on your clothes or whatever. The um, shower stall is glass block and is on a slight radius curve, so it's got a bit of curve to it. It's finished off at the top with a, with a two-step um, finished uh, edge block, and the edge block, of course, is finished as you walk in. And the, sh the shower, when you walk in, there's on each end of the shower, there's a recessed shelf for shampoo or whatever. And, um, and then the shower has a, uh, a shower head on each side. The one on the right has uh, pulsing and also has a handheld shower that you can unsnap 
Um, so when you're standing in the middle of the shower, you get shower stream from both sides. And then, uh, of course, the um, like almost all, all the areas in the house, you have a spectacular view out the shower window uh, overlooking, if you lean and look, you can see Pillar Point Harbor, you can see half from the airport, you can see the fields and up and down the street. Um, and the shower is very easy to work, right? so Delta, and all you do is just simply turn the handle to the left. If you put the handle to about 11 o'clock, that gives you pretty much an optimum mix of hot and cold water. And uh, like uh, much of the house, the shower has a very high vaulted ceiling. It's about 12 or 14 feet up at its high point. Um, same thing in the hallway. Uh, there's a vaulted ceiling, and the vaulted ceiling continues into the vanity room and the toilet room. Uh, the whole house is like this. The, um, all the uh, doors are solid mahogany, two inches thick. Uh, the doors were custom made for the house in Mexico, and they have a kind of rural thumb latch, uh, kind of barn door latch type uh, rustic uh, lock sets.